Hi, welcome to Tsune Elementary School. We're happy to be able to show the Super Kid friends around the school. This school is a very close-knit community where all the school students get to spend a lot of time with each other. Even the parents come and pitch in teaching once every week. My Dreams, My Talents is a time to show off the specialties to fellow students. Full of life, full of talents. That's soon as students for you. So becoming a super kid is a piece of cake. They are serious and at the same time a little bit silly. Songnam Sunday Elementary School, welcome guys. Seconds go by pretty fast. That's right. Tick, 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 tick. And if you know the words in your category, your mind focuses on those words. Boom. You hear the, the hint. It's so easy. It goes by so fast. And of course, the more you get in advance, the easier it is for your members behind you, your teammates. Hopefully, you get them all. We've seen some perfect scores. We've seen some high scores. And we've seen some low scores. It really depends on the category and on the kids. Let's meet our first team. All right. They have chosen randomly. What is your category? Uh, future dream. Future dream, okay. Uh, so your category, future dream. What is your future dream? Uh, my future dream is scientist. To be a scientist, okay. Good luck with that and good luck with these questions. Here we go. This person is the leader of a country. Pest. This person treats sick people. Doctor. This person protects us from criminals. Police officer. This person puts out fires and rescues people. Firefighter. This person wears tutus and dances in front of audiences. Fashion designer. CEO. This person educates students. Teacher. This person rules the court. This person makes clothes. Fashion designer. A representative of a country who lives in other countries. See a uh, department. The head of a company. CEO. This person is the leader of a country. President. This person wears tutus and dances in front of audiences. Ballerina. This person <laughs> rules the court. Oh, boy. I can see it just ticking down there, and they knew it, they knew it. Yes, they got it. A perfect score, 10. Great job, guys. Let's see how well the next team does. First team had a perfect score on this perfect day in Korea. It's Children's Day, so everybody's happy that they don't have to go to school. All right, let's meet our next team and see what category they randomly chose. What's your category? Our team's category is baseball. Baseball. Do you like baseball? Yes. Do you have a favorite baseball player? Yes. Who is it? He's Lee seung Ooh, the slugger, home run hitter. Okay, let's see how many home runs you can hit. Go! The players hit the ball with this. Base. Uh, uh. You wear this on your head for protection. Glove. Uh. Catchers wear these on their hands. Okay. A person who trains and teaches the players. Oh. 
Yes. Okay. When the ball goes over the fence, it is a home run. Baseball players on the same team wear the same outfit. Hello? The girls who lead the cheers in a sporting event. Cheerleader. The person who throws the ball to the batter. Pitcher. The batter has to reach one of these corners to be safe. A ba base. The player who is behind the batter at home plate Catcher. in baseball. The players hit the ball with this. Bat. You wear this on your head for protection. Helmet. Catchers wear these on their hands. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. They were going so fast at the end. We were all very excited. But uh, baseball, a tougher category than Future Dream, I guess. They got seven home runs. Very good job. Let's have the next team. <laughs> we're halfway there. You know, sometimes you spend so much time focusing on the words. But actually, if you listen well to the hint, it's almost enough to guess the right word. Listen well and watch well as well. Okay, here's our next team. What's your category? Presents. Presents. On Children's Day, often you get presents from your parents. What present would you like to get? Maybe a PSP. A PSP? All right, very serious. <laughs> All right, let's get serious and get some answers. This tells you time, and you wear it on your wrist. Watch. Kids <laughs> like to suck on this hard, sweet food. Uh, Pess. A light vehicle with two wheels and pedals. A uh, bicycle. You write your personal thoughts in this. Pess. Animals you grow at home, like a puppy or a Pess. hamster. Pess. A type of roller skates. Inline skates. You make a complete picture by putting small pieces Elbow. together. You wear these on your feet. Shoes. You read stories from these. Book. You keep pictures in this. Album. Kids like to suck on this hard, sweet Candy. food. You write your personal thoughts Diary. in this. You make a complete Puzzles. picture by putting... Yeah. <laughs> they did it. Another perfect score, great. On this perfect day, Children's Day, a lot of presents. Wow, that's a nice present for your team. Ten points. Let's have one more team come out. <laughs> one more team. How many presents will they get? How many points? And what's their category? Let's see. Hi, what's your category? Our category is bathroom. Bathroom? Yes. Hmm. Well, what comes to mind when you think of bathroom? Shower. The shower. Let's see if that appears. All right, begin. A piece of cloth used to dry the face and body. Towel. You use this to make your teeth clean. Toothbrush. You use this to wash your hair. Shampoo. You can see yourself in this. Mineral. You use this when you wash your hands to kill germs. Uh, soap. You brush your hair with this. Calm. Dads use this to shave every day. Okay. You can take a bubble bath in this. Bathtub. A roll of soft white paper used to clean oneself. Toilet paper. You put this liquid on your skin to make Lotion. it soft. Dad's use Razor. This. <laughs> That's right. Woo, that was fast. They may have set a time record. Did very, very well, of course. Perfect score. And uh, I had to shave earlier, but already my beard's coming in. Let's go to the next round. Good job, guys. Younger, I was not a good speller. I'm still working on it, but you know, in school when your teachers teach you how to spell correctly, this is when it comes in handy. You gotta spell things right. You can't uh, have big capital words like, uh, let's see, A, apple. If your letter is A, you can't have America. We want smaller words like, like apple or K, kiwi, something like that. These two teams chose randomly to do battle against each other. They both came in. 
with perfect scores. Both sides have a total of 10 points. Very good job. Now this is called fill the board, not graffiti the wall. So one last thing, please watch your handwriting because if I can't read it, if it doesn't make sense, you can't get a point for it. One last thing is those duplicates. If you have the same word, most likely you're going to only get one point. Okay, let's see what our starting letter is. Jay, let's go, let's go. All right. Okay, they're writing rapidly. Thank you. Okay, doing a good job. Pretty fast. Okay, apple looks good. Apple looks good. Let's check out kiwi. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice handwriting. Fantastic. <laughs> All over the place. A lot of words. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Put that in your pants. Put that in your pants. Put that in your pants. Okay. Oh, don't look. There's a lot of J words. Now it's time for me to judge and see which ones we can get points to. Joyful, joyful, I will mark J. Let's go. What a difference the word makes. That's right, they came in with perfect scores. Very good job. Apple team had 10, got 17 more. That means it's a total of 27. Kiwi team had 10, got 22 more. Yes, with that score, they're going on to the next round. <laughs> We're halfway there. As you can see, it's those duplicates, which uh, we might might hurt you in the end there. Very good job, both teams in the beginning. Now we've got two more teams, again, randomly chose to do battle against each other. On this side, we have lemon. Seven points they brought with them, not bad. And on this side, we have orange. They brought with them a perfect score of 10. Who are your writers? All right, write well, write carefully. Watch out for the duplicates, they might bite you. Now let's see what delicious letter we have. Check it out. Okay, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Doing pretty good. Not an easy letter. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Let's check out this team, the orange team. Oh. The boys over there writing like crazy. Uh-huh. Don't have a lot of time left. Uh-huh. Pretty challenging, isn't it? Okay, it's not an easy one. Well, guys, you have almost 10 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Okay, put down your pens, put down your pens. All right. The pens are down. It's time to, for me to pick up my pen and do a little counting. All right, K's not easy. Let's check it out and see how many are okay. <laughs> Very good job. Not bad. Okay, both 
cooked it very good. You know, normally I wouldn't give the capital K, but it's Korea. Come on. We gave both teams that. They both got it equally. Lemon, very good. They had seven. They got another 15. Makes it 22 total for Lemon. Not bad. Orange had a perfect score of 10. 17 more. 27 total. Orange is going on until the next round. <laughs> It seems SUNA elementary school students are always preparing themselves for the future. Shall we go meet these kids? These are kids that know studying is important at their age, but they are pursuing more. Now this is the broadcasting club, where future announcers are already living their dreams. Wow, there are real cameras and everything. It all looks so professional. Everything is done just as it is in real broadcasting studios. Some of our kids are preparing to venture out to the bigger world. Let's go meet them. This is Chinese class. Fluent in English and now Chinese, these kids are incredible. Impressive, these kids are really good. Yep, from the new learners to the advanced learners, these kids know that language skills are important in the globalized world. Still, they are eagerly prepared for the future. You're all already for today as well, right? <laughs> It's in or out time. We've got 20 folks. Got to wheedle it down to five. First step, 20 to 10. Got to uh, divide it into half. We've got uh, some homework today, unfortunately. I know it's Children's Day. I know you don't like to study, but all these guys were given a book in advance. Got to study that book and then give us some feedback, some answers. Hopefully the right answers, but they'll help them get to the next round. We shall see, we shall see. But first, let's see what that book was. Fifteen young boys become castaways on a deserted island, which was not their initial plan. There are times they fight with each other, but they also know when to team up to fight the bad guys. Let's see how well these fifteen boys cope with their lives on an isolated island, right now. Two years vacation. Sounds like it could be exciting. I don't know if the content is that exciting, if they really had a vacation or not, but I think of good things when I think of vacation. Hopefully, you guys will have some good answers to some good questions. Let's have the first two. Come on out! <laughs> Hi, number one. When you hear the word vacation, does it make you happy? Yeah, it makes me really happy. Do you have a favorite vacation? Um, well, I like to go to Hawaii in the summer. Whoa, sounds exciting. Okay, how about you, number 11? Do you have a, a favorite vacation? Yeah, I have, uh, I go to, uh, I have went to uh, Singapore. Singapore, Yeah. very international. Okay, here's a question for you, good luck. Which country was the setting of this book? Number one. New Zealand. You are in, good job. 
New Zealand is correct. Hi, number two, how are you? Mm, you know, today's Children's Day. What kind of gift would you like from mom or dad? Book. A book, excellent. How about you, number 12, any special gift you'd like? PSP. A PSP, I think it's a very popular gift. All right, well, good luck to you guys. Here's a question. What was the name of the ship that the 15... Number 12. Slugi. You are in! Very good. You gotta wait for the cow and get your headband. <laughs> All right. In Korea, winter vacation tends to be very long, longer than summer vacation. Number three, what do you like to do during winter vacation? Uh, ski. Ski, yeah, nice. How about you, number 13? What do you like to do in winter vacation? I want to ski. All right, same answer. Let's see who answers this first. What was the name of the school these boys went to? Number 13. Chairman School. There you go, you are in. Very good. So we have a new head man. <laughs> okay. Did you enjoy the book number 14? Yes. How many times did you read it? Once. Once. How about you, number 14? Oh, I, read th I read three times. Three times? Yes. One time versus three times. All right, here's your question. Of the 15 boys, who was the only black? Yes. Moko. Very good. Wow. Two more. Come on out. Number five, did you enjoy the book? Yes. All right. And number 15, did you enjoy the book? Yes. Okay. They enjoyed the book. Hopefully you'll enjoy this question. These boys were cast away on a deserted island in this ocean. Which ocean was it? Number 15. Pacific Ocean. You are in! Very good job! Yes, the cow's happy. Mm, what gift would you like to get on this Children's Day? Mm, I like to get a book. A book? So you like to read? Yes. All right. How about you, number 16? What gift would you like on Me too. Day? I, I want to book. A book as well? Yes. Two books. These ladies like to read. Let's see how well they assimilated or got that book. Here's a question. What animal did the oldest boy, Gordon? Yes, number dog. six. Oh. A dog it is. Wow. Seven and 17, just heard about that dog. Number seven, do you have a pet at home? No. Would you like a pet? No. All right, number 17, how about you? Any pets? No. Would you like a pet? Yes. Ah, what would you like? A puppy. A puppy, cute puppy. All right, here's a cute question. Where did the boys live together after picking a leader from their group? Number 17. French Cape. Yeah, there you go. There you go. The correct answer, a cave. So popular question today, because it's Children's Day, what gift would you like to receive? Mm, I like to have a notebook. A notebook, like a uh, computer? Yes. Well, if you become the champion today, you might get that prize. How about you, number 18, what gift would you like to get? I would want to have an MP3. An MP3? Wow, okay. Well, here's a gift of a question for you. Good luck. How many boys left the cave after getting into a fight? Number eight. Three boys. Three boys? No. Nope. Number four, 18. Four boys. Four boys? That's right. You're in. Very good job. Four boys. Hi, number nine. How are you? Fine. Mm, do you remember a favorite vacation, a great vacation memory? Oh, uh, yes. Tell me. I went to Guam. To Guam? Did you have a good time? Yep. Excellent. How about you, number 19? Um, at Malaysia. 
Went to Malaysia? Yes. Okay. Now let's travel into the world of questions. Here we go. Which country is the writer Jules Verne? Number nine. New Zealand. No. Okay. France? You're correct. Very good. Jules Verne. We've got two more competitors fighting for another spot. Come out, competitors! If you're ready, let's have a question. Here we go. What was it that the boys called the giant in the sky? Kite. Number 10. You got it. <laughs> number 10, you got that final spot, very good. Okay, we've got it. 20 to 10, first step is done. In order to move on to the next step, those 10 have got to do a little shuffling. Choose their opponents randomly, only five can move on. We're gonna turn up the heat, the pressure, that's right. The level of questions indeed more difficult. Well, it's gonna be the process where the wheat and the shaft get separated. These guys randomly chose who they're gonna do battle with. Let's have the first two come on out. We asked you earlier about vacations. How about just, you know, the weekend? What do you like to do on the weekend, number one? Well, I like to, like, talk to my family and watch TV. Talking with family and watching TV. Sounds like nice family activities. How about you, number 10? Sunday, I go to church with my family. Okay, excellent. Nice weekend activities. Well, here's a question for you. Good luck. Except for Jordan, an American, and Briant and Jacques, Two French brothers, all the other boys. Number 10. French. No, that's not it. Number one. British. That's right. You move on to the next round. Congratulations. Wow. Good job. Number four, how are you? I'm fine. All right, let me ask you what you like to do in your free time. Uh, I want to, I, I like to watch TV. Watch TV in number 15. How about you? Uh, I think I'm gonna go to a picnic because of the nice weather. Excellent. It's not bad outside. Some days are not that great, but picnic, a good thing to put on the list. Okay, here's this question. It was blank who had untied the ropes of the... Number 15? Zach. Uh. All right, you move on to the next round. We'll see if the next round's a picnic, but you're going to it. Okay, number 13, let me ask you, do you have a future dream? I guess. What is it? Uh, a lawyer. To become a lawyer. Excellent. And number 18, how about you? Future dream? My future dream is being an English teacher. A teacher? Fantastic. I love it. Okay, here's a question. The youngest of the 15 boys were Dole and Blank. Yes, Coster. number 18. Custer. Good. You are in and into the next round. You advance. Congratulations. Two spots left. Two more people, come on out. All right, good luck with this question. The boys went hunting and blank for food. Number 12. Fishing. Okay, you're in, you got it, good job. Move on to the next round, you advance. Okay, one more spot, two more people, come on out. Number six, do you like reading? Yes. Do you have a favorite book? Uh, this book is my favorite. Mm, this one? Two vacation, uh, two, uh -huh. vacation. two oh, years. Okay. Ago. How about you, number 17? <laughs> I like it all. You just like to read all books? Yeah. Excellent, okay. Well, hopefully you book lovers will like this question. The boys named the cave blank, who they thought. Yes, number six. Not me. Friends. 
Mm. Yes, number 17. France pour down. Pour down. You are in. Very good job. The final spot taken. Woo. Pour down. Not easy to say. Excellent job, guys. You five are the finalists. You made it. You are in and into the next round. The fun and games are over, and now it's time to get serious. Our five finalists are ready to use their brains. They've got a lot of power. They've shown it. And actually, they've got some questions. Not just one question. You don't get it. You're eliminated. No, it's a process. They all start with 100 points. The one person who has the most points will move on to the final round. That's right. Well, we've got to get to these finalists and see how well they do. There are categories. There's 10 points, 20 points, and 30-point categories. And the only way the value can go up is if they use a chance. They can actually double the value of the category. We'll see how wisely they use that chance. And let's see how wise they are indeed. First, let's meet them. Number one is Yeun. Did very well so far. Also, so did number 12. That's Donghun. Next to Donghun is number 15. And that is Song Jin, our tallest competitor. Next to Song Jin, number 17 is Jihan. And last but not least is number 18, Tamin. All are excited about this round. And like I said, nine different spots. 10, 20, 30 points. Let's check it out. Ooh, Children's Day. That's going to be appropriate. But I'm going to start with this. 10 points is the value. The category is dots. Kids. Do you often play games with dice? A die is a cube that has six sides numbered with dots from one to six. If you add the opposite sides of a die, you will always get this number. What number is it? Number 15. Seven. You're right. That's right. Warming things up. That's his uh, Song Jin, very good answer. You have the correct answer, it's seven. Whatever way you turn it, the opposites add up to seven. And let me ask you, I heard you want to be something like a diplomat in the future. Yeah. How come? Uh, because I want to like help in the re international relationship between Korea and other countries. Very, very useful. Always diplomats needed. All right, well, you got the right answer. You have 10 points added to your 100. Totaling 110, please choose another category. Uh, squares in number 20. For 20 points, the category is squares. As you can see in the picture, there are many individual small squares in the big square. Then, how many squares are there all together? Number one, pressing it first. Nine. No, it's not nine. Yes, number 17. 26. That's not, oh, number 12. 14. You're right. <laughs> very good. All right, very, very good. That makes 120. Excellent job. How many squares you got? Yes, that was correct. All the individual ones and the big ones, 120. So let me ask you, Dong Hoon. Um, I heard you like science. Yes. What area of science do you like? Uh, universe. The universe? Yes. So you want to be like an astronomer? Yes. And what kind of things do you hope to discover? Mm. Sun. New suns, new planets? Yes. Sounds exciting. All right. Well, let's travel not too far to the universe of the Brain Power Board. Please choose another category. Ten points, Children's Day. Children's Day today! Children's Day is a holiday in which many countries around the world. In Korea, Children's Day is celebrated every May 5th thanks to this.
this man? Yes, number 15. Ah, uh, Pang Chong Hwan. Very good. You got it. That's right. Very good indeed. Apparently, his, uh, his pen name was Sopa, and uh, he published a, ch a kid's magazine called Odini, or Children. And uh, a lot of countries celebrate Children's Day in May, like Korea. Okay, you got uh, that for 10 more points. Right now, you are tied in the leading spot, 120. So, please choose another category. 20 is jobs. For 20 points, the category is jobs. This is the stage for the puppet show. There are so many different kinds of puppets. And these people are the puppeteers. They look very busy getting ready for the show. Oh, the show is about to start. They look like they can't wait to see the puppets. Yay! Here comes the puppets. There are many types of puppets used in these shows. Some are moved by puppeteers. There are also people in masks and costumes, while other puppets are manipulated by strings. Now, here's a question. This is not the same as 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 the same Once again, Dong Hoon gets more points. And that's 20 points added to your total, makes it 140. You are presently in the lead. Shadow, have you ever seen that kind of a puppet show? Yes. Was it interesting? Yes. I haven't yet. I want to go. I only saw it on TV. Looks very interesting. Okay, please choose an interesting category. Super Korea 20. 20 points again. Super Korea is the category. Hiya there, Super Kids friends. Welcome to the National Science Museum in Seoul. This is a science education place where students can learn about science the fun way. Ready to explore? We are now at the Space Experience Lab. Did you know that our weight changes in outer space? Right now, I'm about 55 kilograms. Jeez, I should go on a diet. But on the moon, I only weigh nine kilograms. This is because the moon's gravity is only one sixth of Earth's gravity. I'm finally in a spacecraft and I'll be taking off soon. Yippee, this is so exciting. As you know, there are numerous planets, stars and satellites in outer space. So here's a question kids, this is an area of space that is invisible, which is how it got its name. Nothing can escape from this area because its gravitational force is so strong. What is this area that pulls in everything around it? Yes, number 15. Black hole. You're right. Very good. I guess it's that gravitational force. You can't escape it. The black hole pulls in everything around it. That is the right answer. Okay, now we've passed the halfway point in terms of questions, but we still have the three big questions, all worth 30 points apiece. Everybody still has their chance, so anything can change. Okay, now please choose another question, Song Jin. History in number 30. History for 30 points. Hopefully you know your history, and hopefully you're ready for this history question. The plant you see on the screen grows around the Nile River in Egypt. People in ancient Egypt made paper from this plant's stem. The name of this plant is the origin of the English word paper. 
and the French word papier. What is the name of this plant? Number 12. Papyrus. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oh, my goodness. For 30 more points, you are now in the lead for sure, no longer tied. Papyrus, or as you said it, there's different ways to say it. Papyrus is what they make paper out of. Still amazing. Let's see. You got to choose another category. Super Korea 10. For 10 points, it is Super Korea. Okay, he's using his chance. If you get it right, you get 20 points. Here is the question. How has mankind evolved? The first human characteristic was walking on foot. Then the Australopithecus used tools like us. Here, you can see the whole history of human evolution. Kids, look at the back of your hand right now. See those blue lines? Those are actually veins that carry blood all around your body. Don't you want to see what the veins look like from the inside? Then come on! And healthy veins that carry the blood should look this clean and smooth. But veins that aren't healthy have blood clots, which is formed if there's too much cholesterol inside. Too much cholesterol is bad for the body. So remember, exercise regularly and don't eat too much greasy food. Okay, kids? Blood carries oxygen and nutrients to all parts of the body. This is possible because of this organ. Oh, number 15. Heart. That's correct. The heart. With that, you get another 10 points. Number 12, your chance is used up. So put that away. Can't use it again. That's right, it supposedly beats something like 100,000 times a day. <laughs> Very important organ. And uh, yeah, we all have them beating, thank goodness. All right, we've got one question left. Let me just check the points real quick. Number one has 100. Number 12, in the lead with 170, not far behind him. 15 with 150. Our other two ladies have 100 points apiece. Now, this alone is worth 30 points. The category is zone. If you use your chance, well, it's worth more than 30. Anybody want to use their chance? Oh, going for it. Here we go. Chances are going up. Nothing to lose. Nothing. All right, here we go. Last one. All right, only number 12 has used his chance, thinking, oh, man. So if, let's say, OK, if you get it right, using your chance is worth 60 points. So right now, there's a few possible winning solutions. Here is the 30-point question in the category of zone. We see kids running into the streets as soon as school is over. To prevent car accidents, there are... Number 12. School zone. School zone! Yeah. Dong Hoon, you did not need it. You did not need to use your chance. You used it on a 10-point question. Some viewers are thinking, what? But you did it. The last one was the clincher. With 200 points, you move on to the final round. Congratulations! We made it to the final round. Here is today's champion so far, Dong Hun. First of all, happy Children's Day. Did a really, really good job. Outstanding. We know that you like astronomy, got excited about space, and do you want to just study space with a telescope or do you want to travel? I want to travel. Okay. We're about to travel into our final round. We have three questions. 
if you get just two of them right, you become today's true champion. Not just being the champion of the school, but being a super kid. Okay, let's see what the categories are. There's red, gray, and white, three colors. You can choose and you'll hear four hints after you choose. White. Oh. Uh -oh. White. Okay. White is your choice. I'm sure you do great. Good luck. What do the following words have in common? Thomas Edison. Easter. Protein. Christopher Columbus. What do the following words have in common? Hmm. What could it be? The category is white. Dawn, do you have the answer? White person? That's not it. The answer is egg. Christopher Columbus made an egg stand on the end. Yeah. A bit tricky. The crowd also was kind of, oh, come on. I know. This is the toughest round. You've got two more categories. There's still hope. If you get them right, well, let's uh, focus on the next round, the next question first. Please choose a category. We have red, red and gray. Red. The color red has been chosen. The following words have this in common. What is it? The Little Prince. England. Thorns. Love. All right. They have something to do with red. The Little Prince. We've got England. Thorns and love. Some red thing. Apple? The answer is apple. Apple? The answer is apple. No, it's rose. Rose, good job. Great job, Dolan. You're still the school champion. Mom and Dad still proud. Happy Children's Day. You get a gift. Fantastic. No roses. I believe it's something better. Anyway, thank you for joining us today, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Children's Day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid wins a Samsung Notebook computer. First prize is a digital camera. Second, third, fourth, and fifth place contestants receive an MP3 player. All competitors receive a gift card from Super Kid. The prize for the Super Kid is provided by Samsung. Super Kids is made in cooperation with Teachers Plus an online community for English teachers. The answer is Apple no Right here. buzzer and say it. Korea, Korea. They did it. Good job.